it's all about helping the troops and put on a, a good show. But yeah, I'm excited. Uh, you know, we get to be close to the military. Haven't really got to got a chance to you know talk to anybody from the military like that. So just to be able to spend time with them and you know pick their brains a little bit is gonna be fun. I mean, as a number 18 team, you guys are playing Georgetown. It's a, it's a powerhouse team. What does that mean for you guys early on in the season? I know it's gonna be a marquee win. Uh, or, or uh, game on the schedule. Just so. start the season off right, you know. Yeah. Started off with a win, and you know, on the, on the right, on the right path. What do you kind of think of the, the transfer class and the players that you guys get? I'm excited. You know, we've got a lot of new pieces, uh, a lot of new guys that can do a lot of different things. So, you know, when we all come together, I'm excited to see what we can do. I know you're ready to get into a game. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's a little tough having a lot of practices with no game. So, you know, to have at least one game coming up, exhibition, it's gonna be. It's going to be fun to play with somebody else. To do kind of during those two exhibition games before you head out and face the Georgetown, what do you, what do you want to see if these guys are going to get done during those? Uh, execute. Execute the offense. You know, uh, been a little sloppy at times in practice, so just to execute the offense uh, and to play hard for 40 minutes. That's all, that's all I'm asking for. These guys ready for a couple weeks now, and all of a sudden it's going to be the regular season. You see this coming together and you know, good time to be able to be ready to go? Uh, the exhibition game will be a good test. Uh, you know, practice can't really, can't really show it, so this exhibition game we'll, we'll be able to see what, what, we, what we got. Playing against a team coached by Luke Jackson, yeah. Duck Legend. When you were growing up in Vegas, do you remember watching those Luke and Luke teams? Oh, you know? yeah, Luke and Luke and then Fred, too, you know. Yeah. I, I like watching those two guys work on the court. That, that was fun, but I'm excited to uh, see what kind of team he has now, see what kind of coaching he can do. Since you've been here, how much have you interacted with him? A lot. He'll come over and play pickup games with us. He'll just be around a lot. So uh, uh, I've interacted with him a lot over the past four years. I asked Mike and Damien this. How, how is he as a player now when he comes to play for you guys? Oh, he still got it. You know, he moves a little slower now. <laughs> Can't really jump as high, but you know, he still got it. You know, the shot, uh, his post game. He's real crafty, so he definitely still has it. Does he try to like, help, help you guys out at all? I mean, act as a mentor to people in this program oh, at all? Yeah, if he sees something, he'll definitely, you know, say what's on his mind. And, and like, he's, he's told me a couple things since I've been here for four years now. So he's definitely told me things. So, yeah, I, I can say, yeah. He knows about playing point guard? Uh, I guess so. You need the other loop, right? He, he does it, though. <laughs> he, he knows the game, so I'm going to listen. Do you think he's be a good coach? I mean, just from the interactions you've had with him? Yeah, yeah. And I've actually talked to uh, Colton Baker. You know, Colton's over there now. So Colton says he's a real good coach, and the uh, team respects him. So uh, I'm happy for him. It's going to be weird playing against Colton and Austin? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's going to be real, real weird. Actually, uh, Austin's been on my team for two, uh, the past two years, so seeing him on the other side and contributing like that is going to be it's going to be different. But I'm, I'm excited, though, to play against Colton. And, uh, I know uh, Joseph Young's still waiting on the waiver, but uh, what, what, are you excited to play with him? And yeah, uh, I ask him every day, well, yo, what's the word? What, what's up? Uh, He's like, uh, Nick, tomorrow, tomorrow. So <laughs> uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm getting a little anxious because uh, that's, a, that's a big piece, you know, he'll it, really help. What's he like as a player? Electrifying score. He can really score. Mike was saying he can defend too. Yeah, yeah, he can definitely defend. He can definitely defend. Uh -huh. But I think his biggest asset is the way he shoots the ball. He could, he could really shoot it. You guys talk a lot? Me and Joe? Yeah. 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 Is he a good guy? Yeah, he's cool. Okay. As a guy that's been here for four years, what's your impressions of the extended practice period this year? I like it. You know, we got a couple more days off. Uh, you don't have to cram everything in. Um, coach has been able to kind of go a little slower to get everybody to get the offense and it's not as much pressure. But, you know, as time winds down, though, we got to you know, start picking it up. And that's what's happened. So I, I like it a lot. Does it help off the court wise with you guys? Mike talked a little bit about that. Uh, there's, there's more time for us to chill on off days, you know. Usually, like, if we have practice every day, we going home, laying in bed, just chilling for the rest of the day. Now, have a couple off days, we can go hang out, do whatever we got to do. So, I like it a lot. Damian was pretty confident in the shooting ability of this team. As a point guard, what have you seen? How do you feel you're this year? We've got a lot of, a lot of shot makers. Uh, I think our three-point percentage will be a lot higher. Just our percentage overall as a team will be a lot higher. So, I agree with that. What was your impression of a guy that when he signed at Oregon, this program wasn't viewed as a top 25 team, and now you guys are going into the season. What are your impressions about that? Who are we talking about? You guys. You just, can you repeat the question? When you signed with Oregon, uh -huh. the view of this team wasn't a top 25 program, and now it is. What were your impressions of that? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to you know go through the transition and be here, be right in the middle of it. Uh, you know, we were at the bottom of the pack when I got here, and you know we've made progress every year, so hopefully we can, you know, even after I leave, Oregon can stay at the top.